evening, everyone, and thank you very much for your introduction, Yulia. Today, uh, when I was asked, what is the name of my title? And I said, Total Recall. The reaction was something like this. Huh? Total Recall? Like the movie? And I said, no, it's not about the movie, but maybe I'll even mention the movie at some point in my speech. It's even better in my point of view because it's about an Austrian village boy who moved to, to, to the US, turned bodybuilder, turned Hollywood movie star, and guess what? Governor. If you haven't guessed by now who I'm talking about, I'm sure everyone has heard about him. I'm talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, I will get you on a journey from bodybuilding to governorship. In his late twenties, let's think that Arnold was already crowned with several titles as Mr. Universe and Mr. Olympia. He was the undisputed champion of his time. But this is not the biggest achievement in bodybuilding, in my opinion. The biggest achievement for him in bodybuilding was the way he marketed it, the way he tried to sell bodybuilding to the rest of us, to common people. How he did it? Well, he gave interviews in different sports magazines and different magazines of the time, like LA Times and the Joe Wilder's sports magazine, which was very popular in the 70s and 80s. He started to invite movie stars into the gyms and train with them. He, he started to make relations and connections with different celebrities from, from Hollywood. He started to walk in the street and talk with people, with common folks and teach them about the ways of bodybuilding. Because in that time, in that period, the general misconception the common people had about bodybuilders was the fact that all they do was staying locked in the gyms, didn't think, didn't, didn't talk too much, and that was it. Well, he destroyed all these myths, and the apex of this marketing movement was a documentary he filmed. The documentary is called Pumping Iron. And uh, it shows the training routines which led to his sixth victory of Mr. Olympia. Think about something. In 1975, the first prize for Mr. Olympia was $2,500. In 2020, the same very first place was worth $400,000, which this, this rise in the, in the prize is surely not due to inflation. And what does this have to do with Hollywood? Well, I've told you earlier that Arnold used to train and schmooze with different celebrities and movie stars. Well, the next big challenge for him would be to go on and take on Hollywood. Guess what? Guess what Hollywood said to him? Well, Hollywood said a big no, no. We don't want you here. You're too big, you're too muscular, your accent is too strong, you don't have any acting skills. And what did Arnold did? Well, he took acting lessons, he took English courses, and he got his first major breakthrough role in Conan the Barbarian. That, that role was a major hit, well, a major hit which led to other roles like the Terminator, Total Recall, and even comedies like the Twins. He got in the late 80s and in 90s to be one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. This guy, which at first got a big no, no, we don't want you here from Hollywood, got to be one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. He got where he wanted to be. This was his objectives. This was his objective. And by hard work, 
discipline and vision he got there. One of the key facts, one of the key things that he emphasized on during his years in the US was schmoozing with celebrities. Schmoozing means getting friendly with different types of people in different types of situation, everyone and everywhere you can. Well, this kind of schmoozing got him into the Kennedy family. He got married with a member of the famous political Kennedy family, Maria Shriver. Well, guess what? In Arnie's mind, what would, would have been the next logical step for him to take from action hero movie to, well, in 2003, when California was in distress and the re-election call was held, Arnie stepped in and won the election as governor. A fun fact about this is that his nickname during his first term was the governator. Well, it was a mix between governor and the terminator because he was in constant clashes with the legislators. Well, of course, he was in constant clashes with, with legislators because he didn't have any experience about what politics meant. So in 2006, he won the second term as a governor. He learned his lesson from the first term and actually started to advocate and work a lot with the legislators and passed on some bills. What, in my opinion, the most memorable act that he passed on uh, was the Global Solutions Warming Act. He advocated strongly on acting, on taking actions on global warming in front of the US, in front of the United Nations, and in 2006, he passed the first act on taking actions for global warming in the US, which put a cap on greenhouse gas emissions in the state of California. What is the link between all these achievements? Well, the link is simple. It's discipline, it's ambition, and it's how do I say marketing? It's selling things to other people. Moreover, I was thinking about something, or in other words, Arnie was saying, has a, has a saying. He always sought to strike at the very top because the reason behind this is very simple. At the very top is a lot less competition. Thank you. Thank you, Adelina. At the way, at the very top is a lot less competition. Thank you, Vlad, for this very strong final message of your speech. Tonight, I noticed two aspects of your speech that make it a top speech, and one aspect that can be improved, in my opinion, in your future speeches. So first of all, I appreciated the chosen topic. How many of you have heard of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Exactly. Your topic, Vlad, uh, is no to others, but not no enough to lose their interests. Second of all, I loved the way you organized your speech, clearly and chronological, uh, to maximize audience understanding. We found out, found out how a simple country boy became a bodybuilding winner, a well-known actor, and even a governor. You also named title, titles uh, won films and uh, one documentary. Third of all, I recommend you to use site uh, sources to support speech contests and make this uh, source vi uh, visible for us. You can um, give mag magazine, magazines the names 
credible websites or even names of reports. This um, thing gives us credibility to the information provided by you. So we know that is not something you read, it's something that somebody research. You can use the presentation to make the source list available for us. Um, that being said, I con congratulate you for the speech delivered today. And I hope to hear you say, I will be back with the next speech, of course. Bine venit la finalul clipului și îți mulțumim că ați stat alături de noi și te încurajăm să te abonezi la canalul nostru de YouTube și să ne dai un like la pagina noastră de Facebook. Ne vedem data viitoare!